Well, searching for the remains of their loved one years after he was killed in action in the Korean War. Some remains were recently flown out of North Korea and back here to the United States. Well, it's not clear if this soldier is among those, but the act of apparent goodwill from Kim Jong-un is giving a Wilmington family hope. As Louisa Muller shows us, they have spent years and years trying to bring him back. I regret to inform you that a report just received stated that your son, Ensign Ronald Dow Wheaton, United States Navy, is reported missing. Joyce Dalton in still action. has the 1952 On. telegram saying her brother was killed in action. His plane was hit by enemy fire. She keeps the letters her mother sent him, the awards the Navy pilot got posthumously. That's his purple hat. But after being shot down over North Korea during the Korean War, the body of 22-year-old Ronald Dow Eaton never made it home. What was that news like for your family? Was it very difficult? Yes, it was. Um, but we lived anyway. You couldn't dwell on it. We lived. He didn't want us to. For decades, the Wilmington woman has dwelled on how to get him back. She gave her DNA to the Department of Defense, Ronnie's medical and dental records. And last week, she got a fresh glimmer of hope with news that the remains of 55 service members killed in Korea are returning to the U.S. Part of a commitment North Korean leader Kim Jong-un made to President Donald Trump during a summit in June. Do you feel a sense of hope? I, I do. I do. I think sometime. I hope in my lifetime. <laughs> now the service member's remains will undergo forensic testing. And if her brother is found, Dalton says her feelings will be simple. Probably relief that yeah. it's over and he's back. In Wilmington, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News.